I'm here on Dorset's Jurassic Coast to introduce you to Lee's range of reverse ND filters. I've used other reverse NDs in the past, but to be honest, I've never been entirely happy with the results. The transition zones tend to be a little bit harsh and it becomes obvious that you've used a filter. So I've worked with Lee to develop a range of reverse NDs which do the job properly. A reverse ND is a specialist filter which we use for controlling the light at sunrise and sunset, where it's at its brightest, i.e. on the horizon. So it's darker on the transition zone and fades away gradually to the top of the filter. What makes the Lee reverse NDs different is that they blend in very smoothly from the horizon to the sky, giving a much more natural look to the final image. They're available in three strengths, two stops, three stops and four stops, and that refers to the density on the horizon. They're designed for use with wide angle lenses, so that's 24 millimeters or wider on a full frame or equivalent. I'm gonna be working with a 100 millimeter system this evening, but they are also available for the 7.5 system and the SW150. The sun's getting low in the sky. Fingers crossed for a great sunset. Let's put these to the test. The sun's just approaching the horizon now, but the light is still pretty harsh. I'm going to try a shot with just an ND filter to smooth out the water and nothing for the sky. Well, the sky is too bright and it has completely overexposed there, so I'm going to try one of the reverse NDs. I'm going for the four stop 1.2. That's given a fantastic result. It's evened out the exposure, so everything looks really natural. The sun's a little bit lower in the sky now, but it's still quite contrasty. Here's a shot without the reverse ND, and the sky is still overexposed, although not quite as badly as previously. Here's the same shot with a three-stop reverse ND. The exposure's nice and even, and it looks very natural. The sun's dipped below the horizon, and there's a bit of an afterglow. It's not as contrasty as before, but without the reverse ND, the sky still overexposes. Here's the same shot with a two-stop reverse ND, and it's nicely controlled and gives a good, even exposure. So that's Lee's range of reverse ND filters, the perfect filters for giving natural results at sunrise and sunset. <laughs>